on May the 9th, I did a video, the Galatine versus the War, where I basically say the Galatine is better until you hit Mastery Rank 10, then moving over to the War is probably better because, well, the War is just a better weapon. But the Galatine still has it on the attack speed and the fact that it's a slash based heavy. So they do serve their own purposes here and there, it depends which faction you're going up against. But ignoring that completely, there's a new contender. And this one just straight up annihilates the wall. It's still got a higher attack speed, but unlike the Galatine with its 10% crit chance, it now has 20. And it does basically a lot more damage than the war does. So I guess it's time to put the Galatine up against the wall. And for this, I'm basically going to run the same build on both. It's Blood Rush, Body Count, True Steel, then Prime Pressure Point, Prime Fury, and Prime Reach. I'm not throwing Berserker on because that would just be an unfair advantage to the Galatine Prime, which already has a higher attack speed anyway. Plus when it comes to the war, I'm using the one I've only format once, so I couldn't really fit much else than this in here anyway. But the same differences are still there with both of them. The slash damage is really good against the infested with um, plus 50% for the infested flesh, plus 15 for the fossilized, basically armor. Same with the corpus, it's plus 25 against the slash, for the flesh, minus 25 for the robot, so it's not very good against the moors. But with the grenier, it's completely useless against the armor because it's minus 15% for the ferrite armor, minus 50% for the alloy armor, but plus 25 for those who don't have any armor. This is why I did say the impact was slightly better, and it's also why I have said before, it depends who you're going up against. Against the infested, Impact doesn't really have any information on that anywhere that I can find, but it should be the same. Any that's got armor should be pretty good against. Corpus, same thing. Impact is great for taking down shields and is also good for, well, kind of good for the robots. It's not miners, it's not positive. It is plus 25% against Grenier machines, but it's minus 25% for the Grenier flesh, so those who don't have armor. So the slash and the impact, they do serve different purposes. Basically, impact's good against shields, slash is good for pretty much everything else. The main reason to kind of compare these two is the Wars of Mastery rank level 10 weapon. The Galatine Prime is a 13, and of course it does a, what is it, 165 total damage? The war's only 140, and when it comes to dealing damage, higher's better at times. But again, it still comes down to one is impact and one is slash. But is it really worth putting the war away and moving over to the Galatine Prime once you have the damn thing at mastery rank 13 because with the galatine itself once you got to 10 the war was better for a lot of different reasons so moving to the war made sense but for the extra 25 damage is it really worth moving from the war over to the galatine prime and to test this out with a help from 140 level uh, heavy here we're basically just going to beat on them and see what happens this is the war, and for some reason I cannot land a combo hit at all for some weird reason, there it goes. And it's doing very little to no damage against this level 140. Wow, this is actually taking a hell of a lot longer than I thought it would. Yep, a hell of a lot longer. I'm trying not to perform too many combos at the same time because Performing them without fail every time is something that, well, can be a bit of a pain to actually pull off. So just wail on her until she's basically no more. This is, yeah. This is doing literally no damage. Well, not literally, but 
it is doing a hell of a little amount of damage. Trying to... Wow, 72, 72, 72, 72, 72. I think we'll just stick with the number. It's doing 72 with a 2.5 times multiplier. Uh, you need to get off my map now. Because I need to change weapon. And same thing again. Basically, we're just going to hit it till we've got the um, 2.5 multiplier and see what numbers it actually does. Trying to throw in at least a couple combos like we did have before. But already, this thing is doing similar kind of numbers. There's a couple of 240s, 53, 368. Not only that, pay very, very close attention to the thing's health. Uh, yeah, 72, 369. Haven't got to the 2.5 multiplier, there it is, and she's dead. Yeah, this is pretty much a very easy conclusion to make here, isn't it? Or is it? Swapping over to Corpus, which is where the, uh, the Galatine Prime should annihilate all. Wow, okay, why is the war so bad at this? It's not even through the shields yet. Of course, I have completely ignored the elemental side of this, and there is a good reason for that. I have 1,800, 1,817. Got a couple 3,000s popping off to the left there with the red crits. 3,740. Still not dead. I'd taken out the Grenier Heavy by this point. I did not want to do that. Stop it, stop it, stop it, you silly, silly thing. Yep, that is not going to help. He's got a shield back. Yeah, okay. So, this thing, the war, turns out, isn't actually that good. Because the corpus should be easier to take out with the, uh, the galatine than with the war. And... Wow, the Grenier should be easier to take out with this. Huh. The other reason to ignore the elemental side is I'm basically aiming more at the physical damage to this. Elemental stuff will be better depending on which faction. I couldn't put one build on that would annihilate all, but determining which one of these two weapons is actually the best. Well, there's a reason the Galatine Prime is a mastery rank 13. And before hitting the 2.5 times multiplier here, it's already hitting for what the war was. And I do believe he's now dead. But with the war, he wasn't. And that's against the heavily armoured ones and against the corpus, which aren't as heavily armoured. So, impact versus slash, completely thrown out the window. I think it's safe enough to call it there. The Galatine Prime, which I... I would have to admit, I didn't expect. I thought the war was still going to be slightly better. Yeah, no. The Galatine Prime is definitely the better of the weapons.